Well, hello everyone. You asked and you shall receive. This is my tutorial using the BH Cosmetics palette that Missy Lynn created. It is just a royal look, purple and gold with a deep purple lip. I'm going to show you what the palette look like. This is the outside and this is the inside. I have a blog post on it. I will link my blog post below. Packaging is adorb. Okay. The back just has the ingredients and um, get the website and tell you a little bit about Missy. I'm sorry. You do have a mirror up top and you have, it says, start with confidence, finish with success, Missy Lynn and a kiss. And if you watch her video, which I will link below, she describes why she's um, designed the palette this way. And yes, quick swatch now of every color. Okay, as you guys can see, this palette has a mixture of shimmer, matte, and semi-matte colors in it. And you have two colors at the bottom that can be used as highlighters for your cheeks and etc. But I'm going to use them on my eyes also. So I'm just swatching all the colors for you. I really like the size of the eyeshadows. I thought that they were going to be small like most of the BH Cosmetics palettes, but they are actually bigger than a MAC eyeshadow. Um, not as big as like a Sugar Pill or a Makeup Forever eyeshadow, but they are a little bigger than a MAC eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna continue to swatch and then I'll move into the tutorial. Pigmentation is awesome. They're creamy, they're buttery. You can use these two as an eyeshadow highlighter like I'm going to do in the tutorial. You can even use this first one as a highlighter. Good shade range. You can start with a day look over here and then smoke it out and go to your good night look. So I absolutely love this uh, palette and I am absolutely proud of Missy Lynn. I'm going to start with Mary Kay Eye Primer. This is just so my eyeshadow look will last all day and it won't have any creases in it. I'm going to mute out my eyelid with Ruby Kisses Concealer. This is just to bring it all to one color. I'm going to take Milani Shadow Eyes and Almond Cream and I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base to give my eyeshadow something to stick to. So right here, I'm also putting that same almond cream in my waterline. I'm going to go in with this brown, reddish brown in the palette, and I'm going to use that in my crease with a big fluffy blending brush. But here's the trick to this. I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose, and I'm just going to drag that color down my nose. So next, I'm going to go into this cream color in the palette, and I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight. And I'm just using a big eyeshadow brush. I think it's from e.l.f. And blend that all together. I'm going to take this purple. And I'm going to put that in my crease with a smaller blending brush. And we're just creating a transition right now. So with that same brush, I'm going to take this deep eggplant purple. And I'm going to smoke out my outer V with it. So I'm going to go back to that cream color and a pencil brush and I'm going to open my inner tear duct and then I'm going to use this rose gold color that's meant for a highlighter but I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. I just wet my brush first. So next I'm going to take a purple pencil liner from NYX and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then what I'm going to do is take the purple out of the palette and set that. And then I'm going to take the dark purple out of the palette and set the rest of it. This is Benefits Their Real Mascara. I'm going to use that on my bottom lashes. And I'm going to apply number 79 lashes and Milani Liquid Liner. So I'm going to take the two browns in the palette and contour. I'm going to chisel first and then I'm going to take a fluffier brush. 
and working on in to bronze my face a little bit more I added a blush and now I'm gonna go in with that gold color in the palette and highlight with it so on my lips I didn't show it on camera but I have Nikki K color and in indigo as a liner and Ruby Kisses matte lipstick and purple affair so this is the final look right here I know that you guys like it because you guys went crazy on Instagram. Thank you so much, Missy and Bruns Goddess, for reposting the picture. And this is the look. I absolutely love this palette. If you guys can see on my forehead, that's my mark from where I had my hair scarf on. Congrats, Missy! So if you guys would like to see more looks using this palette, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!